I'm pretty sure I found a UFC DVD somewhere in Australia. And my cousin at the time, who just opened up a martial arts gym, I believe he was a white belt at the time, just brought me down. So we watched the DVD and then I tried my best to copy some of those moves. Yeah, I was probably like still 11 years into jiu-jitsu thinking I'm probably never going to make a dollar from jiu-jitsu. But uh, I guess after I beat Leandro Lowe, I thought I'd be able to make some money off it. So that was definitely the moment that changed everything for me. My first ever super fight, I got armbarred and the guy held onto the submission and almost broke my arm. And I remember that was the first time I had a professional event and like friends and family had come to watch and I obviously lost that one. So that was, was pretty hard to deal with. I wanted to uh, probably walk away from the sport, but I mainly wanted to get revenge. You are training like a savage for competitions and competing, like I guess like a savage in some of those events probably puts the most wear and tear on your body, but it also makes you probably much better at jujitsu. I wish I'd recognized the trend in jujitsu, progressing towards no gear, maybe started that a little earlier. Luckily, I think I was still pretty ahead of the curve with heel hooks, but uh, obviously even earlier again, and doing some wrestling would have been much more uh, beneficial for me. I think heel hooks just became a, a great tool to victory when I guess these more modern grapplers really perfected uh, how to break someone's leg. Then that was just a great tool to beat the gi guys. Like it was a void in the game that uh, could be utilized. And I don't necessarily know if that it'll be a sub coming next. I think it'll be probably more along the lines of good wrestling in these uh, tournaments. I like the heel hook most because it's a sub that you don't really use a lot of energy going for. Once you secure the position and you get the heel, it's gonna take very little pressure to break. But uh, yeah, you don't lose, use a lot of energy missing this. That's what I most appreciate about it. I think generally speaking, there will just be waves of jiu-jitsu where like, I mean, 10 years from now, I'll probably even make guys like uh, Gordon Ryan or like Andre Gavao look a bit, um, I guess, rudimentary in their moves, you know what I mean? Because everything should uh, continue to advance at this rate, especially as the sport grows more and more people get into it, more and more minds are in the sport. But obviously every now and then there's an anomaly, like uh, Hodge Gracie went to MMA for what, five to 10 years and came back and still beat Bouchesha. So every now and then there'll be interesting matchups with guys from a different time where if the old school guys win, <laughs> that'll be a victory for all the old guys. <laughs> For me, like, I really like taking all these super fights and uh, using that to promote my name and uh, take on some pretty cool opponents, but I really want to win a major event like the ADCC. Because as it stands, I've beaten a few big names and won some cool super fights, but I've never taken a major title. So that's definitely the goal now, long-term goal. Hopefully I achieve that at this ADCC.